Well, look who's graced us with their presence, the good, the bad, and the ugly standing right in front of me. And guess what? They bring their toothpaste with them. Must be my unlucky day. Man, what are you doing here? Long story short, Miguel can't stand your presence in his spider society anymore. So he brought me here to create balance. I knew it. So Batman, what are you going to do with your fancy gadgets and no powers? Do you think you can roast us? This should be good. Batman, a powerless guy trying to take down the Invincible. And who the f*** is the ugly one? Well, Homelander, since you spoke, have you looked in a mirror lately? Reflective surfaces are afraid of you. Now, Bats, don't hurt his feelings. Homewrecker might laser you until you get a plus symbol on your butt instead of a minus. All right, let's get this started. I've got a lot to say about you guys. Superman will start with you. You're basically a walking cheat code. Invincibility, laser eyes, super speed. It's like you have a subscription to superpowers monthly. Well, I'll take that as a compliment. Yet, you still get outsmarted by a guy with a green rock. Real original, Bruce. Let's talk about you, a billionaire with no powers who spends his nights beating up clowns. You're just a rich guy with parental issues and a fetish for black capes. Yeah, Bruce, what's next? A line of Bat-branded therapy sessions? Seriously, Bat-boy, your superpower is being rich. I could bench press your Batmobile with one hand while drinking a beer with the other. What's your secret weapon? Tax evasion? Well, I can't deny the last one, but at least I don't have a bug wife. He got a point there, Dad. And Mark, how's your bug spray working? It works like a charm. Plus, it keeps bugs and bats away. Two birds with one spray. And let's not forget your charming personality. You're like a depressed emo teenager with a billionaire budget. Do you even smile? Or did your parents' death take that away too? Oh, I smile. Usually when I'm putting villains behind bars. It's like therapy. And speaking of emotions, let's talk about your emotional instability. You laugh and cry simultaneously. Even a moody teenage girl can't reach that level of instability. You got a point there. But Batman, you forgot something, buddy. Even my weakest knockoffs can knock you off faster than your dead parents hit the ground. <laughs> Good one. Clark, you have super strength, but what good is it if a glowing green rock can bring you to your knees? Here we go with the kryptonite again. It's not like everyone has one. Oh, really? Last week I saw a kid selling kryptonite rings on eBay. Okay, it's become more common, I admit. And it's not just green anymore. There's red, black, and gold. Yeah, and let's not forget about the pink one. I thought you were invincible, Superman. Turns out all it takes is a pink pebble to turn you into a glittering drama queen. It's kind of hot. Hot? Damn it, Dad, just stay focused on the bug fantasies, okay? We don't want to see any more weird stuff again. Oh, please, Batman. Without your Batman's ears, you're just a man. Oh, you're all so clever. You kids need a leader to make sure things are done the right way. So, Bruce, you're saying you should be the leader of this supergroup? That's exactly what I'm saying. I think Superman is the most qualified hero here to be our leader. I think you should shut the f*** up, Miles. I mean, who needs a leader who wears neon red underwear on the outside? Oh, coming from the guy who wears his underwear on the inside and outside. Batman, you're just a rich kid with issues. I mean, a lot of issues. Smart ass, huh? Then tell me about those issues. Your parents must be proud, Bats. Oh, wait, I forgot you're still crying about them. Maybe you should take a break from crime fighting and see a therapist. Do you have a weakness, Homelander? Oh, wait, I forgot. It's called mommy issues. I can fly, shoot lasers, and crush anything in my path. You're just a man in a bat costume. And you're just a lab experiment with an inferiority complex. Hey, at least he can fly without tech. And by the way, why can't you fly? I'm Batman. Well, bats can fly. Says the kid in the toothpaste suit. Shut your butt, Miles. And what about those bat nipples, huh? I mean, seriously, what's up with that? Miles, you dress like a tube of toothpaste. Your opinion on fashion is irrelevant. Honestly, Bruce, without powers, what can you really do? Outthink, outplan, and outmaneuver all of you. And I don't get grounded by colored rocks or daddy issues. What are you going to do, bat boy? Throw a batarang at me? No, I just need to know your weaknesses. Like, for example, Homelander here is perversely addicted to milk, and he worships mammals like a weirdo. And you, Batman, you're just a human. I could laser you in half before you could even reach for that utility belt. Bat boy, what on earth would stop us from kicking your butt right here, right now? Because I'm rich, bitch, I can fund everything. The gadgets, the tech, the snacks in the break room, and I have countless sexy bugs in my Batcave. Bugs? It's all on me. You don't seem to understand, Batman. The sexy bugs in your Batcave are not yours to conquer. And you, Bruce? What's your weakness? A dead battery in your Batmobile? Yeah, Bruce, what are you gonna do? Call 911 or just hope the villains respect a timeout? All that talk about Batman being a genius is bullshit. He's just a billionaire hiding behind his wealth. Ami Kink, you got a point there. Let's talk about the bat signal. Wow, what a genius idea. Announce your arrival to every criminal in the city. It's like a reverse surprise attack. 
and that bat voice. Do you gargle gravel every morning to keep it raspy? I'm Batman more like I'm bat cough trying too hard to be intimidating. Sounds more like a lack of superpowers to me. Are you guys done? Good, because now it's my turn. Omni-Man, you're just a murderous dad trying to prove he's the alpha male. And I can't even put my finger on who you imitate. Is it Superman or J. Jonah Jameson? And don't get me started on your weakness. Seriously, your sensitivity? Venom called, and he wants his weakness back. Damn. Sorry, buddy. Get yourself a new weakness. Homelander, you're like a knockoff Superman with a superiority complex. Raised in a lab like a lab rat, Homelander just needed a little love. How does it feel to be America's favorite mama's boy? And Superman, he might be strong, but his disguise is literally just glasses. Is he think everyone in Metropolis stupid? And Miles, you're, well, you're just toothpaste, aren't you? Remember, boys, I'm Batman. I don't need superpowers. I've got something better. Wit, wealth, and the ability to roast you all into oblivion.